हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय टुडे टॉपिक इज पार्ट्स ऑफ अ सर्कल बाय पेपर फोल्डिंग एक्टिविटी सो वी रिक्वायर हियर फ्यू सर्कल्स देन वन यू कैन से लाइन दैट रिप्रेजेंट लाइन बिकॉज टू एरोज आर देयर ऑन बोथ द साइड्स राउंड स्केच पेन्स ऑफ फ्यू कलर पेन पेन्सिल ग्लू सीजर स्के ओके सो आफ्टर डूइंग द एक्टिविटी यू विल गेट सच टाइप ऑफ शीट फाइन सो लेट एस स्टार्ट टेक वन सर्कल एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग विथ द सर्कल इज वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल सो फोल्ड द सर्कल लेट मी रिमूव फ्यू थिंग सो दैट इजीली यू कैन सी एवरीथिंग जस्ट अ मिनट ओके so fold the circle once again fold it make the crease making crease is very important once again fold it you can fold how many times it is possible for you it depends the circle the size of the circle you have taken okay and then just make the crease and unfold this so here you can see that you will get one point this point is known as center of the circle so make a point over here you can give any name generally we give center as a o so this is known as center of the circle how can you define center of the circle the point which is equidistant from all the points on the circle you can see that because we have folded so all these lines are of equal distance so the point which is equidistant from all the points on the circle is known as center of the circle keep this aside take another circle okay again just fold it and this time make a crease okay first we will take the center so make the crease once again you fold it then only you will get center of the circle so i have folded the circle four times open it and you can see your crease okay so the this point is center of the circle give name o and any one point you can choose suppose i have chosen this point a this point a join this so this is known as radius of the circle how can you define radius of a circle this is line segment so a line segment joining center of the circle to any one point on the circle is known as radius of the circle joining center of the circle and any one point on the circle is known as radius of the circle and it is denoted by small r now take the third circle okay again uh, finding center is important because we require center so just make a crease from the middle we don't require any other thing so just place it in the center and once again fold it and just make the crease only on the center point so this is your center of the circle okay now you can use scale and keep your scale like that and just fold it make a crease and remove the scale now you can see that this crease or back side if it is more convenient to you you can see at the back or in the front side anyway so you are getting two points so name it suppose this point is a and this point is b and join this again this is a line segment okay so a line segment joining any two points on the circle is known as chord any two points on the circle a line segment joining any two points on the circle is called a chord again take one more circle just fold it 
make a crease one more time you can fold it so that you will get center of the circle make a crease over here you can open it so this point is center of the circle okay now what you can see that one crease you are getting here draw this crease with sketch pen and give name a and b you can give any name i am taking a and b okay so what is the difference between this ab and this ab this is also a line segment this is also a line segment two points on the circle two points on the circle so this is also a chord this ab is also a chord but what is the difference this ab is passing through the center so a chord which passing through the center is known as diameter a chord which passes through from the center is called a diameter and diameter is denoted by small d okay so this is also radius this is also radius so the total length is d so we can say here what is the relation between radius and diameter diameter is twice of the radius you can see this this one is the radius okay this is the radius and this is the radius so 2 times r will give you diameter so diameter is 2 times the radius diameter is twice the radius diameter is double of the radius now next one we will go for arc so any small part of a circle is known as arc any small portion you can see suppose you want to take this so make line over here a b okay so this small portion of a circle is known as arc now take one more make a chord over here how to make a chord i told you take a scale and just make a crease over here open it this is a chord okay just now i told you this small part of a circle is known as arc an arc okay if i'll shade this what does it mean shaded part always denote area okay so area enclosed between the chord and an arc is known as segment once again area enclosed between a chord and an arc is known as segment okay so one of uh, you can say that ma'am this is also a segment this green color part is also a segment yes yeah, so this is also a segment because this is also one arc green color if i'll join this this is also an arc bigger arc and the chord so now here we can say that we have one small segment we have one bigger segment so we can give name minor segment and major segment minor segment and major segment suppose i'm giving name over here ab so if i say segment ab so this is not clear i am talking about the minor segment or the major segment so here i require one more point suppose this point is c so if i am talking about segment acba it means i am talking about the major segment similarly we can put here one point d so if i am talking about a b d a so i am talking about your segment a b d a that is your minor segment okay so major segment minor segment similarly this arc also this is minor arc and this is your major arc so here also you can take one more point a c b this is known as minor arc and if i am talking about a d b this is known as major arc now the next one is the sector make us crease and get the center so now this is the center of the circle so give name here center okay 
Now here you got this half portion. Once again you fold it. You can use your scale and fold it once again. Can you see that what I have done? This is the semicircle, and just this center and any point on the circle make it again crease. Open it and use your sketch pen to draw these two lines. And if I shade this, so this is again known as area. So area enclosed between these two radius radii. Radia is the plural of radius. So area enclosed between two radii is known as sector of the circle. Take one more circle, fold it. Once again, fold it. So this circle I have folded in four parts. Make a crease. Okay. Open it. So here you will get one center of the circle. You can see here these two crease. So use your sketch pen and draw two lines. And if I shade this portion, this is this is known as quadrant. So what is quadrant? This is also sector area between two radii. So quadrant is also a sector. But what is the difference between this and this? Here, the angle between two radii is ninety degree. Okay. Or at the same time, you can see that this is the complete circle. These four parts are there. Out of four part, we are talking about one part. So this is the one fourth part of the circle. So we can define quadrant. One fourth part of the circle is known as quadrant. sector is not a quadrant but quadrant is also a sector now take this one more circle just fold it make a crease so here you can see that this is half of the circle semi circle half of the circle so you can shade this half of the circle so half of the circle is known as semi circle now the last thing this is the circle okay a line which intersect the circle that's what i require this line a line which intersect the circle at two points at two different points is known as secant of the circle this line is known as secant Why two point? If line will touch only at one point, this is known as tangent. If line touches the circle at one point, so this line is known as tangent. But what is secant? A line which intersect the circle at two different point is known as secant of the circle. so this is the way i have explained you all the parts of a circle let me arrange once again we have started with center of the circle okay then radius radius of the circle then we have done diameter this is diameter of the circle quad chord then major segment and minor segment this is your sector this is your quadrant this is your segment and the last one is secant i have explained you about that so students you can make this parts and you can stick it in the notebook and teachers you can also ask students to make the such a small cutouts of the circle you can do this activity in the class and you can ask them to stick it in the notebook thank you for watching today's video